We all need a nice and clean space so that we can work effectively. But it is not the case with everyone, especially me. Hi, I'm Jaden, and this is the video that I will share with you my process of turning my working space in my apartment into a brand new home office. I'm a content creator and soon to be entrepreneur, so I need a space where I can do my work anytime that I want. However, I'm living in America, especially in Santa Monica, one of the most expensive place here in LA. And now I'm working as an intern, so my salary is not much. Therefore, I have to be conscious about how I buy and use stuff. When I first moved to America, I was living in a hostel that I couldn't even put my luggage in the locker so I was always afraid that somebody would take it. After that, I moved to a new place where I share a room with another guy. The whole room cost $1300 and this is what I get for $650. This is where I work in it. Yes, in the living room. I also share this house with three more people so this is not a good option. I did not have a real space to work or even a proper bed to stay. I couldn't get anything done when I'm at home and since most of my time is in the office from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. therefore I just use this space to sleep so I didn't care too much about it but then when I feel comfortable with the work in the company I have more time that I want to do something for myself and planning to open a company I feel like this is the time to change everything so as my roommate is buying a big new bed, I feel like this is the time that I have to try something else. So I decided to ask for his own bed and move all of my stuff to the living room and live there. By doing so, I'm saved an additional of $150, which I can do more stuff with it. So the process begins. First, I move all of the stuff that I have. I realized that I have so many things that I brought with me from Finland that I don't even use. And another thing is that now I don't have a shelf to put my clothes. I need a way to organize things logically. I bought two small baskets in 99 cent store to put my clothes in there. One for the shirt, the other one for my pants. That is for the clothes. I took the bed out of the room and at first I was thinking to put the bed in this way but it takes a lot of space in the living room so I have to move it sideways. The next thing which is also the most important thing of the setup is the desk but luckily my neighborhood is in Santa Monica which means they are really rich. I came across this free table laying outside of my buildings. It's made from real good and it looks really nice. It was made in Malaysia. It is about 60 inches wide and 40 inches length and that is 1 by 1.5 in meters. I put together the desk and fortunately all the legs are still sturdy and really strong. Next is to find something to sit on. I want to find a chair that allow me to sit straightly and not too comfortable because my lower back is not really good. And the reason why is that a too comfortable chair will make me look like this. So I get one of the chairs that we have in the living room, which is also my room. This is the sushi chair. The only drawback of the chair is that it doesn't have wheels on it. So every time I move around, it makes really bad sounds. For my computer, I use a 15 inch MacBook Pro from 2014. This is a really good machine. I literally max out every single of its capability. I use it for video editing, design, streaming, and many more. The best thing about this model is that it has a memory card reader, so I can quickly drop my footage and edit it. For the mouse, I use the Logitech MX Master 2S so that I can use with my laptop and the iMac inside the company with just a switch of the button. To edit or to do some work, you need a lot of real estate on your screen, so I decided to have a dual monitor setup. I output the signal to a monitor that I borrowed from the office and put my laptop on the left side of the monitor. I don't have money to buy really expensive things like a dock, so I try to use the light everything that I have at home to create a stand for my monitor. I use the MX Master box to put it underneath as the stand, so it costs nothing. I use a magic keyboard from Apple because I don't want to deal with a lot of cable and things because I already have a lot of cable already. I also have a Mavic Pro that I put on my desk to take some drone shot like this, and this, and this. On top of it, I have a fake mini plant to add something green to the table so whenever I feel stressed, I can look at it to release my anxiety. And I also think that it looks nice too, so I put it there. 
to be honest, I'm not a guy who usually have things in order. Therefore, it will look like a mess sometimes. And after doing many research, I found the book called Getting Things Done. And there's a really good tip inside that book is that if you want to keep your space clean and tidy all the time, have a miscellaneous box. This is the box where you can prove everything that makes your room or your place look messy. And by the end of the week, you can spend 20 minutes of your time to put the stuff inside the box into the right order. I do the same thing with my small stuff where I put a hanger on my left side of the table so I can put all of the small stuff that I usually have on my desk on it too and I can get easy access to all of the things that I usually use. Normally people will have a bedside table to put their stuff on it when they sleep but with my current setup, the desk is quite high and it's really harsh for me to reach whenever I want to wrap something. So I decided to buy a Nikea makeup table. But then I asked my roommate, how can I buy something in Nikea because I don't have a car. And crazy enough, she has a spare one for me. And she gave me this table. This table is there for me to use when I want to put my iPad or my phone when I'm sleeping. And if you don't know, most of the future employees are huge fans of reading books because the books are the one that will determine your future and so do I. I also read a lot on my iPad too. I have more than 30 books on my iPad. If you want to check it out, it is in the description down below. And as I already tell you, I'm a content creator and a constant improver. So I recently bought a teleprompter for myself to make even more content. This helped me to talk to the camera easier and save me so much time since I don't have to look at the strip and then look at the camera and then forget the word or forget the light. This process is so much easier. I was able to save 30 minutes of recording time and an additional one hour when I edit my videos. On top of that, I want my setup to be fully complete by turning my Sony A7S II into a webcam for my laptop. I used the Elgato Cam Link to turn the HDMI signal for my camera into a feed for my webcam to get that extra sharp look when I call someone. So it makes me look really professional when I talk to my clients and yet still be able to talk about what I want. And that makes me have to move my laptop to another place. So I use some book at the stand for my laptop and I put it in the middle. As you remember, I said that to be able to edit, I need more screen real estate. So I used the teleprompter as a second monitor so that I don't have to use my laptop screen anymore. Then I put on this painting on the wall to make it look a bit more interesting and that is basically how I create my perfect workspace. I know that this doesn't look really good but the time that I have here with the future is not so long anymore. So I'm pretty happy with this setup to work. This is where I'm gonna edit this video for you guys. And that is my whole setup. Thank you and I hope to see you in another video. I hope you find this helpful in some way and if you have any question, leave it down below and I will try my best to answer it. Oh, and then one thing that I want to say is that if you think this video is good or bad, consider to subscribe to my channel down below and click on the bell to get notification when I release a new video. That is for my $500 home. Huh? No, it's not. Yeah, whatever. Hi, I'm Jaden. That's the guy. And I'm a content creator intern at Future in the Los Crazy Los Angeles.